the greater good. Hey everybody, Greater Good Mining here. Some pretty crazy news from the Radiant community. This was posted in my Discord by Crypto KJ, one of my administrators, and uh, you can find it also in the Radiant Discord. It's in an announcement section. So it says, Dear Radiant community, we have an exciting update that marks a significant milestone in our journey. The moment we've all been waiting for has arrived. Mysterious entity that has been contributing to our network security has officially revealed their identity to us. So if you're not familiar with who the entity is, basically, Long story short, in spring of this year, around April, the hash rate on the Radiant blockchain went up through the roof, and it was unknown where this hash rate came from. There was a lot of speculation. It could be FPGAs. It could have been some special new mining equipment. It could have been ASICs. Um, tons of speculation, um, a lot of fear, a lot of FUD uh, surrounding this. Um, it was totally centralizing the security of the network to uh, whoever this entity was. Now, I know that um, I've seen a lot of stuff going on. Like, I actually met some of the um, Radiant community when I went to WDMS. They're really nice people. Um, they were trying to get to the bottom of who the entity was. Um, that was a WDMS was a bit main event, um, but nothing was revealed at that time. And I know that they have apparently spoken to the entity, or at least they think they've been speaking to the entity. And they, uh, the entity apparently, um, reassured them like they don't have nefarious intentions. Um, they were requested, it was requested of the entity to move some of its hash rate off of one single pool. So they spread the hash rate out, but it still centralizes the control. They can switch pools anytime they want to, which means they could totally go back to dominate a network, do whatever they want to with the blockchain. The blockchain was basically theirs at that point. So luckily they didn't do anything nefarious with the blockchain. And uh, it seems to be just still continuing on, but they dominated the network for so long. And unfortunately, along with that domination of the hash rate, the, uh, you know, the price went down quite a bit. Um, Red Panda Mining, uh, he had mentioned that the um, radiant that is being mined is moving to Coinex Exchange. He says he couldn't confirm if they were selling it or just parking it. But if you look at the price of radiant, this past year, it's gone down quite a bit since the entity came online. Coincidence or maybe FUD, uh, maybe, maybe not, but you can see that the price has dropped quite a bit ever since they took over the network. So back to the announcement, um, it says, after much, much anticipation, we are thrilled to share that a company in the crypto mining industry has confirmed their involvement in securing the Radiant Network, which it's kind of flowery wording, uh, you know, if you know what I mean, like they dominated the network. Um, and this says they have played a crucial role in elevating our hash rate and ensuring the robustness of our blockchain. In an exciting development, the manufacturer has also confirmed they will begin selling their Radiant ASICs. So it's apparently ASICs, um, and they will put it on their official website in approximately one week. So it's September 4th today. So one week from now, apparently they'll be listing them on their website. We don't know who this person or this, we don't know who this company is yet. Monumental step forward in our ecosystem as these ASICs will further decentralize and strengthen the network. Well, couldn't be any more centralized than it is right now with the um, entity completely dominating the hash rate. So I guess this is, I guess you could say like the best case scenario that they're finally allowing people to buy these ASICs because then the hash rate will be spread out and in the control of the community and the people that are willing to buy these ASICs. Um, but I think this whole situation has left a bad taste in people's mouths. And I don't know which ASIC manufacturer this is. It could be a new one, or it could be one of the ones we've already seen. It could be Bitmain, Gold Shell, Ice River, who knows? Um, either way, it says, you know, they'll be selling the ASICs to you now after they've had their way with <laughs> the Radiant blockchain. So it says, stay tuned for more updates. Get ready to be part of the new chapter in Radiant's history. As soon as the manufacturer posts an announcement from their side, we will forward it here in the Discord community so we can get the first orders and you will know who the manufacturer is. Thanks for your support, yada, yada, yada. So it is, um, like I said, it's it's been a really wild ride for the crypto community ever since this entity came online because it, I don't know if this is the same entity that has dominated other coins. It could be like, you know, a coincidence, but there was multiple coins that were proof of work coins that suddenly were being dominated. 
Um, a lot of these coins have forked. Um, Radiant was the one that stuck with, hey, we like, we want the ASICs. Um, and you can see ever since this announcement today, this is one day, this is a price movement in one day. It has gone up like 50% and then came back down to about 38% uh, increase in one day. It was up to about 0 0.0012 at one point. So the news of the, the, the entity being an ASIC manufacturer pumped this coin. Just full disclosure, I've been I've been stacking Radiant for a while before all this entity business. Um, I was I was buying it, um, you know, like kind of in this range. So I am invested in Radiant, and I just held on to it because I wasn't sure what was going to happen with the entity. I felt like it could go either way, you know, like another asymmetric bet. Um, We've seen this happen with Caspa. We've seen it happen with Elysium. It seems like when manufacturers, ASIC manufacturers, announce a ASIC being made for a proof of work network, the price does pump. And there's speculation whether it's manipulation or it, it could be just the community is excited because they want to be a part of it. Sorry to interrupt your video, but a quick word from the sponsor of the video, Crypto Miner Bros. Crypto Miner Bros is a trusted website where I buy mining equipment from. They sell all kinds of different miners, including Alephium and Casper miners. So if you're looking for a good deal on a miner like this, you can get $70 off with my discount code GREATER. And the prices that you see on the website are the prices shipped to your door. This includes import duties. So you won't be paying extra fees and import duties and shipping and all that. The price you see is the price you pay. So thank you for listening and back to the video. It's an interesting situation. Um, tell me what you guys think. I, I don't know what to think at this point. I am a little disappointed. I think a lot of you are in the way this has all played out. It does leave a bad taste in your mouth. Um, it, it just seems like it was very, very poorly handled. Like if you have like a ASIC and you're a major manufacturer, you're gonna make a ton of money it seemed like a display of power almost like it, it scared everyone in the community are, are are pretty angry about how this all played out so let me know what you guys think in the comment section um now that you know well now that we are being told we don't know for sure anything now that we're being told that it is an asic manufacturer would you buy one of these radiant asics chances are it'll do pretty well just like Casp ASICs and you know, maybe we'll see how leafy ASICs play out. The first batches of these um, ASICs usually turned out pretty good for people, but not always. Just depends on what it is. Like if it's um, like, I hate to say it, but gold shell with Alephium, they charged quite a bit for their mini box miners. And now those first batches of mini box miners, it did not work out well for those people. They paid a lot of money and the hash rate went up pretty quickly. So it's always a risk. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Sorry if this was a kind of a long rambling video, but I, I've been watching this and I know a lot of you have, and it's just a, it's kind of a, just a crazy story that I wanted to kind of cover on my channel. So tell me what you think. Um, would you buy one of these ASICs? Were you involved in uh, mining Radiant before all this happened? Um, have you been buying the FUD, like from the FUD? Like I bought uh, some of these bottoms, you know, like 0.0006. I, I just felt like maybe there was an opportunity there. So um, let me know what you think in the comments, um, whether or not you buy the ASICs, if you bought any Radiant on the dips, if you mined it before all this happened, just, just let me know what happened in your story and uh, tell me what you think about this whole situation. And if you're into crypto, check out my other videos that I have on my channel. Consider subscribing if you like this kind of stuff. And if you like the video, do me a favor, hit the like button. Last but not least, don't forget to keep it decentralized for the greater good. The greater good.